Walsh University is an independent, co-educational, Catholic, liberal arts and science institution. Founded by the Brothers of Christian Instruction in 1960, we promote academic excellence and diversity and provide close faculty-student interaction. Walsh enrollment has grown approximately 80% over the last 10 years. Currently, we enroll nearly 3,000 students from 40 states, 35 different countries, with more than 13,000 alumni worldwide. So over the last three years, we've seen the number of, of devices that students have been bringing tripled. Now there are up to three or four devices that they're actually bringing onto campus, which creates a problem on the old access point. Mojo allows us to put more people onto one access point and not have that speed issue, not having the students dropping off. So you wanna make sure is that experience a good experience for that freshman. So when they transition from a freshman to a sophomore, that you're keeping that. Retention's key. Here at Walsh, we've in the last five years, we've been heavily invested in the Cisco infrastructure from the switches all the way up through the wireless product. Throughput-wise, for the students on the Cisco, we start running into problems with how many students can we connect into these Cisco access points. One of the biggest issues that really all institutions are concerned about now is security. Primary concern is that security of students, faculty, staff, personal information, university information is the number one priority when we start looking at the security aspects of IT. When we have to do updates, the physical updates to the controller takes a lot of time and effort and money. Um, every time you update it, it's a cost. And since this is a small private institution, that's usually out of the budget. I knew it was gonna have to go to, to a wireless or cloud-based controller where the upgrades are uh, done by the company and then pushed down to the, to the access points. And that's what led me to start testing the, some of the new products and the new companies out there other than Cisco, Meraki, Aerohive, Aruba, and uh, Ruckus. The big selling point was when I found out that Mojo, their management plane and their control plane were completely different and the control plane was on the access point. I think that uh, overall uh, the whole infrastructure is going less from a switch and wired infrastructure to a wireless infrastructure and a lot of that's going to be smaller anyway including the physical controllers. Mojo's dashboard makes my life much easier. Right away I can see how many users are on, different type of operating systems that are on there. Um, what access points are giving the most traffic, and then I can drill down into the uh, Wi-Fi area. I can find out things that are showing down or supposed to be down. I can easily look at the map and find out who's where, which access point they're using. Having access to the dashboard from anywhere lets me address problems immediately. I don't have to wait until I get back to my office to do it. There's no way I could do that with a physical control. W68 was so easy to install, I had my intern do it this summer. All you had to do was screw it into place and uh, plug in the Ethernet cords. We also have C120s and C130s. Those were easier to install also with the, the mounting brackets. Roll out of a new wireless system into three dorms, I was expecting it to take all summer. And I was getting a little nervous that we were only starting in, in July, but it actually took about six weeks because of the ease of installation. I would recommend Mojo Networks because you're getting performance, you're getting scalability, you're getting ease of management, uh, ease of updating, all at a great price. One of the large products that we have on campus today is looking forward to a new building that we have opening up on campus. It's going to be our Global Learning Center, which is going to allow students and faculty and staff to an area for collaboration. Mojo Networks has allowed Walsh to compete at a higher level on the technology scale, looking at just from a wireless access point as we would against institutions such as Kent State or Ohio State, or some of the large institutions that have the large budgets to be able to fund those pieces. Our budgets aren't where you would normally see at a public institution, so we have to look at our dollars. How do we allocate those dollars to the technology that's going to give the students a better experience? 